Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich here. Quick update on our winter weather heading our way 24 hours from right now. We're out now under a winter weather advisory. Some areas under a winter storm watch, others under a winter storm warning. Why is it all over the place and why are some counties not even in any advisory like right here? It's because of this odd system. This is a weak system as it passes over the Western Carolinas and then re-intensifies to our east. So you're seeing, you know, a lot of warnings back here then question marks here, and then re-intensification somewhere over here. So it's, it's a really odd setup, and I'll explain. I will tell you this, it's not going to be a huge event for the Piedmont and the Western Carolinas, a marginal event, but still could have impact on the roads, probably a bigger impact for Northeastern North Carolina and Southeastern Virginia. So before I get too far, let's get into the guidance here. So let's take a look at the short range modeling because it tends to have a pretty good handle on this. So nothing today, nothing tonight. We'll go through the overnight hours. I'll stop this right before sunrise or right around sunrise tomorrow. We'll call this a uh, 7 a.m. right here. You can see some snow to the north, wintry mix in between, and the green obviously is rainfall. We'll go through the morning hours tomorrow. We get probably nine or 10 o'clock. Snow kind of moves in. It's pretty scattered. Whoops, let me pause it right here. Um, we'll go back to here. I'm going to move my cursor because it's getting in the way. So we'll go we'll pause it right about here. So just before lunchtime tomorrow, this is a, a 1 p.m. right there. So we'll back it up a couple hours. Again, pretty scattered stuff. I mean, there's just not a lot going on here. This is not going to be widespread heavy snow. It's going to be more snow showery at times. You can see maybe a burst in the middle of the day. There's also some red showing up, which is freezing rain for eastern North Carolina little bit of a mix across the Charlotte area, but primarily snow or sleet with some rain. We're not looking as much ice west. Um, we'll go through the afternoon. The ice really gets uh, becomes a problem here in southeastern part of the state and east central North Carolina. Snow back here, but notice a little bit of pink here. So it's not going to be all snow, but primarily snow and sleet back to the west. We go through the evening hours. We get closer to dinner time. Still some snow around starts to move out pretty quickly once we get towards the evening rush uh, exits the region and then cranks up so if you're wondering why there's going to be more snow east look at that big burst there as the low pressure system cranks up so if you watch this we'll back this up you kind of see the the low approaching from the west looks pretty good there and then what's going on here you're probably asking well what happens in these what we call the miller a setup the energy here is pretty strong and what happens is the energy gets transferred to the coast where then it reforms and intensifies and starts pulling in more moisture so what happens is somewhere in here there's a gap in the energy and precipitation i've seen this happen a couple times the hard part about forecasting is you don't know when that's going to happen and also when the low starts cranking up sometimes it's close enough that it throws moisture back into the charlotte area so that's why there's so much uncertainty in this we're going to see some kind of shifting of the energy from inland to the coast and that could happen anywhere over the carolinas but either way there's going to be some precipitation it's just a matter of how much and then we get into the overnight hours snow flurries could linger i'm actually debating adding snow flurries um, into the overnight hours because it looks like they might linger there we'll see if this actually happens but um, with the low offshore it's kind of hard to imagine there being a ton of snow but i wouldn't be surprised to see flurries linger into the overnight and then you see we go into Thursday morning and a little burst of snow there possibly before it all exits. I think that's why you're seeing the winter weather advisory last through noon on Thursday because there could be lingering overnight issues with freezing rain, drizzle, and mist across the area. So let's go back to the advisories here real quickly and I'll get up to the update map. So this is my latest map as of 9 a.m. this morning, a trace to an inch across most of the Piedmont. I think that's gonna be the primary amount I'm, I'm hard pressed to go higher. One to two, even this area could be a little questionable. So there's a lot of questions right here. Looks more like a more of a sure thing right in there. And that's why you're seeing the advisory. So don't expect a huge amount of snow. Trace to an inch. If it does fluff up or become more widespread, then maybe we could get to one to two inches across our area. That's a zoomed in look. I actually pushed the one to two further north. So uh, I really think it's going to be a trace to an inch right now. It just does not look like it's going to be overwhelming. Now, ice, ice potential. Obviously, this is the area I'm watching. You saw that in the guidance, in, in the short range guidance. There's certainly an area right there where we could see some, um, I wouldn't say power outage ice, but enough that there's going to be slick spots. Here, there's a glaze, and that's interesting. It's not a ton, but that would be enough on top of the snow 
to cause some issues. I'm going to go back to this in a minute, um, but I really want to quickly just show you the future cast, how it's very scattered. It doesn't look all that impressive, right? It's just not overwhelming. So um, not a ton, a ton of precipitation. So there's a lot of hints at this that this is not going to be a ton of snow or ice. It's going to be quick hitting just a little bit, but the problems could be on Thursday morning because the temperature drops so below freezing that there could be a refreeze of whatever falls, even if it's light stuff. So real quick look at the impacts. Uh, even though there's not a ton of precipitation on the way, you notice that we're kind of in this yellow area across the Piedmont. That's primarily because of travel, road impacts. I mean, um, I think the thing I, it's hard to communicate to the public is people expect a winter wonderland and they expect snowmen and snow all over. Um, the problem is that's not really the case in these storms. It's very light amounts. It doesn't look like much, but it's what it does to the roads. I mean, black ice literally is invisible and causes slick spots. So uh, when you see these type of forecasts, don't expect a winter wonderland. Expect like a black ice situation where there's precipitation freezing on the road. So I always tell people your average lawn in Charlotte's about two and a half to three inches um, long. It takes three inches of snow or mud to cover your grass. So we're not getting anything that's going to remotely cover your grass even. So don't expect it to be white all over the place. Expect it to be on the roads and be icy. So that's really what you should be focused on more so than, you know, sledding. So the timing issue, um, this is the one graphic. I think if I were to change this, um, I'm a little hesitant to do it because I don't think there'll be a ton. You know, do we extend the snow and sleet and ice into the evening? That's a question mark right now. Now, I haven't done that, but you can see here I have extended um, the icy roads or slick travel, hazardous travel into the overnight hours. So that's probably more important. Don't focus on that because um, even if it's not falling from the sky, there's going to be issues here. This should be your number one issue right here. And even that is not an issue during the day because it's daylight after sunset is probably when we run into issues. Um, I'm probably the last person to ask about travel in general. I can tell you it's going to be icy. Um, don't ask me if you should travel. I hate making those decisions. You're talking to somebody who's had to go to work in every single winter storm ever in Charlotte. Um, so I always drive in it because I have to. So that's just me. I'm okay with it. I have all-wheel drive. I have four-wheel drive. I'm used to driving in it. Um, so asking me is probably not a great idea. I can tell you what's going to happen and you can make your own decision, but I would not be like, hey, Brad, would you go? Yeah, for me personally, but I am not you and I'm not making decisions for your family. So me, my risk assessment is different than your risk assessment. So just know I, I'm going to go to work on <laughs> Wednesday. I have to, right? Um, I wouldn't change my plans. But for you, if you don't like driving in any kind of weather, and folks, I know people drive horribly in the rain here. So um, if, you, or if you're one of those people have struggle in the rain even or darkness, don't go if you have any questions at all. That's just probably my best advice, but I will be going to work because I have to. I will post most, more updates later today, but I wanted to give you a quick update on what's heading our way.